stop sign. Please exit the bus on the left side. I know sometimes people will say to me, like, Hey, dude, why don't you just get laid? Why don't you have sex? Because I'm tired. I'm tired from work. I'm tired. Well, at least I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to get on the computer while those editors in the clubhouse. And so I just see it's like, getlaid.com, and oh my god, you have to pay. Oh my god, guys, are you paying for this? It's okay, it's like, oh, it's like, oh my gosh. What do you expect? It's like, okay, now it's impossible. It's like, oh, shoot. It's like, no! You have to pay, you have to pay. It's like, oh, forget it, forget it. It's like, I ain't gonna do this anymore. I'm not gonna try to buy something free. Oh my god, forget it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like life is a trip, you know, it's like even though it gets you every time, it gets you. It's like even though they say it's like, oh, it's totally free. It's free to molasses. And by now it's it costs money. It's like they get you every time because I don't know why they do that to you. And it's like I don't get it. Yeah, brother, it's like, life is so unfair. And it tells, like, uh, I don't know, it's like, mm. I don't, I mean, I go, gro okay, I go to, I go grocery shopping at Walmart Super Center. The one at Carlisle in Montgomery. Do the every Wednesday, like, right after work. I we probably get Hey Dad. Yeah. Well, you're probably gonna get a note sent home from school. Why? What happened? Well, I was standing in line to get my food in the cafeteria and I see a big bowl of apples. And there's a note in front of the apples that said, Only take one, God is watching. So I go farther down the line and I see a big bowl of cookies. And I decided to write my own note. And it said, take all you want. God's watching the apples. Are you? Are you 
better not be recording. Delete it now. That's bullshit, man. Okay? I'm just trying to get this fixed. I'm a mad. How do you think I feel? My phone is gone, and you think I it's know. funny. Hey, did you know the Bible talks about COVID? Well, to me, it sounds just like COVID. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. The thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you. These evils will not touch you. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the most of your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Three things a girl will do when she likes you. Number one, we will smile around you a lot. We'll just be standing there like, for no reason. Number two, we will touch our hair all the time. Like move it, touch it, anything. Number three, literally anything you say is funny to us. Even if you're not a funny person, we think you're the funniest person on earth. It's just how it goes when we like you. What's up y'all, Daily Bible Verse, should I read a Bible Verse to you guys every single day? And I am so sorry this is coming out too late. I was at a football camp all day down in Seattle, but um, and it was a three hour drive back. I just made it up to my grandma's house, so I am gonna film it from up here. I'll probably won't get it to my house till like 11ish. So figured I'd do it now, better sooner or later. Anyways, I'm just gonna do a continuation on yesterday's verse. Um, and it's Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen. It says, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Right? And as I said yesterday, a relationship isn't a one-person commitment, right? It's both people. Both people have to commit to that relationship. And you see, look, that is us with God. God, is already, God has already put in his part. All we have to do is to put in ours. Right? God has already planned out everything he has for you. But it's up to us. It's up to us if we actually want that to happen. It's up to us. We have to put in our part to find God. We have to put in our part to search for and find God. Because once you have found God, you have found love. You have found a place where your pleasure and your joy can be found instead of somewhere in this world. So stop trying to take pleasure in things that are of this world because they're so temporary that one day they'll all be gone. And when you stand before the kingdom of God and he's asking you, what have you done for me? Sometimes you'll have nothing to say. Sometimes you might think you have nothing to say. Sometimes you might think you have something to say when you really don't. I'm telling you right now that if you live for God, if you give Jesus Christ a chance, when you stand before the kingdom of God, you will not be judged like others. You will not be judged like majority of the earth. Because when you are with God, you are his children. And you see, look, the whole point of us following Jesus is not to get to heaven. The whole point of us following Jesus is following Jesus for who he is. Because he's God. We follow Jesus for who he is and not to get to heaven. Well, obviously, the goal at the end is to get to heaven and spend eternity with Jesus. But you know what I'm trying to say. We don't follow Jesus just to get to heaven. I love y'all. Have a blessed night.
not one person has a crush on me. What the hell, universe? So I want to pray over your week. Got a new week coming up. Share this with someone. Comment amen. Tag a friend. Do what you need to do because I'm going to pray over your week right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you. We adore you. We thank you the life that you've given us. We just say thank you, Father. I just pray for each and every person who comes across this TikTok. I pray that you bless them with new blessings this week. I pray that you cover them mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever they need. Father, give it to them right now in this moment. You know what's ahead of them. You know what we got going on, Father. And I just pray that this upcoming week is not just another week, Father, that it's another week that you have made and that you have new things for us. And we just thank you in advance for a smooth sailing week with just pure blessings and nothing more. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? All right, this should be easy. I'm just gonna gently shove this up your nose. I actually brought my own Q-tip, if you don't mind. No, we're gonna have to use this one, but don't worry, it's not gonna hurt that much. Do you have nose plugs in? Oh yeah, I was gonna keep these in, if you don't mind. No, no, no you're gonna have to take those out for the test. Look, this is gonna be pretty easy. I, I have a few other patients to see, so we got... What's going on? Do you have any symptoms? Oh, I'm getting a second opinion, if you don't mind. Second opinion? You haven't even gotten tested yet. Give me a call. Okay. Look, man, I got a lot of patients to see today. What? I'm gonna take the test on Zoom, if you don't mind. What? No, that, that makes no sense. No. Listen, I totally understand if you're not comfortable with me shoving this up your nose. It's fine. But I will have to go up your rectum. How soon will I get my results? My goodness. Oh, oh, he's, he looks really mad. Is he staring at me right now? I'm pretty sure he's staring at me right now. Oh, he's asking all oh, these scrapers. This is exactly what I need. Yeah, that will get the paint right off. Whoa, dude, dude, dude. Hey, what are you doing, bro? What happened? Did you hit me with a bucket? No. Dude, that kind of scared Hey, are you doing okay? What are you doing there all alone? Come here. Be honest with me, are you really doing okay? Can't help but notice from your face that you seem kind of lonely. Like you're going through something. I know there may be people in your life, but that doesn't change how you feel deep down. I just want to remind you that I care about you, okay? I see you. I see you struggling alone, while nobody around you even notices. You know, that takes a lot of strength, a lot of courage to wake up every day and just be here, and I'm so proud of you for doing that. Just stay with me for a bit, okay? Relax your eyebrows, relax your shoulders, release your stomach. You're beautiful. I'm proud of you, and you're doing an amazing job, okay? I hope you remember that. I know a lot of people are not going to want to hear this and you might really hate me for it I'm sorry I just feel like I have to I have to do this but um I'm just gonna go for it why are you so beautiful huh yeah you look I see that smile it's exactly what I want to see on you you're beautiful I know you're going through a lot so I just want to let you know that I'm so proud of you yes I don't even realize how strong you are. That's how. Stop, don't look at me like that. <laughs> I have amazing news for you, and a lot of people need to be reminded of this. 2 Corinthians 3 talks a lot about how the covenants of the law used to be, and how we used to do works and all that stuff because the law, it says, do not lie, do not steal, do not commit adultery, and that's lusting after one another. Don't say God's name in vain, don't do idolatry, and so much more. And the thing is, is that this brings us death because we've all done it. And sin is so serious in God's eyes that we deserve hell. So are we doomed? Well, watch and listen to this. That ministry was so, was actually really glorious because it was from God. And we have to stand face to face in God's glory, name, and goodness on judgment day due to the, the law. And 
It is so glorious that the Israelites couldn't even look at Moses because he wrote it. Of course Moses was inspired by God. But listen to this, I'm almost done. You might want to listen to this because it's so worth it, hang on. These verses say, Now if the ministry that brought death, chiseled in letters on stones, came with glory so that the Israelites were not able to gaze steadily at Moses' face because of its glory, which was set aside, how will the ministry of the Spirit not be more glorious? For if the ministry that brought condemnation had glory, the ministry that brings righteousness overflows with even more glory in fact what had been glorious is not glorious now by comparison because of the glory that surpasses it for if what was set aside was glorious what endures will be even more glorious which means we were dead in our sins until Jesus came along and put us back together and died on the cross and rose from the dead conquering death conquering your sins conquering your shames and your struggles that's the ministry of the Spirit. And now we're saved by grace through faith, all because of Jesus Christ. But keep reading. These verses say, Since then we have such a hope, we act with great boldness. We are not like Moses, who used to be put a veil over his face to prevent the Israelites from gazing steadily until the end of the glory of what was being set aside. But their minds were hardened. For to this day, at the reading of the Old Covenant, the same veil remains. It is not lifted because it is set aside only in Christ. Yet still today, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their hearts. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. And it goes on to say that the, the spirit of the Lord has freedom for you. And we're transformed. We look in the mirror and we see glory to glory all because of Jesus Christ. Do you want to be transformed? You can have the joy because of the spirit of the Lord. And Whatever tribulation you go through, God sees you through it and he'll get you out of it. And if you're, if you're not experiencing tribulation and you love your sin, come home. He loves you so much. His glory is so good. See how been on YouTube now right now? Uh, let me think about it now. Um, shoot. Uh, uh, 230,000. 230,000. Why do you have paparazzi? Why don't you have paparazzi? Because there's only for celebrities. But you don't have 230,000. You only have 230. Well, at least I'm only getting there anyway. It's like, why don't you have paparazzi following you around? Because I'm not celebrating. I'm not pop. I'm not popular. I'm not famous. But I have 230 videos on YouTube. Well, at least I'm getting there anyway, you know. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. But that's crazy. That's crazy! I have so many videos, but no one's not taking it. It's like, what the hell's, what the hell's wrong with him? Oh my god, my god! <laughs> what are you trying to confess? What am I trying to figure it out? Hey, what do you want me to do, man? I don't know. It's like, uh, have you seen this? Oh, yeah, the Undertaker. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Tina, you bad heart. Come on, get some dinner. What's wrong with you? I don't know. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Oh my god, what are you trying to do? Um, I don't know. Eek. That's crazy. Oh my god, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say?